Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file, which I keep saying because that's just my Isaac intro nowadays and it's not even remotely correct for this. Um, what am I going to go as here? Uh, maybe I'll go as Robot. It's been a while since I played a Robot run. He is fun. We'll go as uh, this Robot as well. Hey, I kept my uh, Gemini credits this time around for some reason. Anyways, let's just jump straight in and try and have a good old fun run. I'm excited to be jumping back in. We've been having some pretty good runs recently, some pretty wacky ones. The uh, last one was Sanctified Oil, I'm pretty sure, which was uh, pretty alarming. Um, and it was with the, the, the absolutely massive shotgun, which is apparently a real thing, which I was uh, <laughs> pleased to hear exists. I mean, um, if you actually go into the modding uh, Discord for Gungeon, there is like this chat called like extra research this thread in one of the chats called like extra research and my god i mean never named is like the main person posting in there uh, but lots of other people also post in there and there is just so much stuff about like weird and wacky cool guns that are actually like that are real but like would find their find their home very comfortably within the gungeon um and it's just it's just kind of cool to like read through that chat sometimes and see some of the wacky shit that's going down because like Obviously, there's a lot of, like, reference guns and stuff in Gungeon in modding and in vanilla. But there is also, like, realistic guns, too, and then some, like, weird realistic guns. Um, there's, yeah, there's some really good stuff in there. Right, I don't know why I decided to use that there. Bit of a bit of a miss there, but it's okay. But yeah, obviously, as Robot here, we get to have a pretty, a pretty chill start to the run. Um, this guy has a very good starting weapon and active item, so we get to just kind of chill out, max relax all cool. Shoot some b-ball and whatnot. Anyways, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of hoping we can get some cool synergies going this run. I mean, we've, we've not actually had, like, too many, like, interesting modded synergies lately. I know that, like, not all packs are, like, fleshed out with synergies as of yet, but there is a lot in, like, Nevernames mod, and um, I know that Knife to a Gunfight has new ones and stuff like that, so I, I want to see if I can find some, but it's all just look of the draw, isn't it? It's all just look of the draw. Went for a bit of electricity there. And, oh, that was... I, I don't know why I didn't roll there. I just decided to stay put, and it was almost a very bad decision. We do have two keys raring to go already. Pox Cannon. I don't know why, but I feel like Pox Cannon is, like, in the shop so often. I mean, it's not a bad weapon by any means, but it's like, just, just, just leave it be and put some new stuff in there, please. Always with the Pox Cannon. Right, where's our first chest at then? Because we're lacking that so far. That was a really bad bit of electricity throwing there. I'll try and keep him on top of it though. Feel a little bit more damage. Is any of anyone in the comments are you are you like playing through Gungeon for the first time or are you have you just like recently tried modding? It'd be interesting to know like Who's new to Gungeon or newish? I know that a lot of you that watch on a regular basis aren't new, and you've been watching uh, Gungeon or played it for a long time, um, which is obviously where modded content kind of comes into play. Um, but it'd be nice to see more people like trying out modded and stuff. I mean, I I, I, th I feel like modded Gungeon's one of those things where it's like it's so good, but it's so like under the table still. There's still like not a huge like it's it's not widely known about. I mean, that is obviously because there's a lot of console players to PC players. The ratio is pretty high. Um, ooh, hello, hello. We'll grab that. Freeze rays, not bad at all. We'll grab this as well, which is a calendar? What does this calendar do? It's a passive item. Increase the earner's max ammo. Um, increase different stats depending on the current day of the week. Monday grants two speed. Tuesday grants 25% dodge roll speed. Wednesday grants one heart container. Thursday grants 33% damage. Friday grants 50% fire rate. Saturday grants 50% max ammo. Okay, so we're, we're getting the uh, max ammo because it's Saturday today. That's a pretty cool idea, you know? I really like that as an item. That's that's really interesting. Um, ooh, Owl would be lovely, but I doubt we're going to get it. I mean, Angry Spirit is probably, um, probably what I'm going to take here. I do like Angry Spirit. I'll, I'll open this up. Why not? Ooh, what the hell is this? Round S. Bullets spin around the shooter. Uh, grants the player 150% range. All bullets orbit around the player. Hmm, okay. Okay. So, 
How is this different than the normal orbital shots, then, that are in the game? Is that because you have to hit them and then they start orbiting? Oh, it doesn't even work on beams. The, the, the game already has support for that. How... How dare you? <laughs> yeah, so it's going to be kind of hard to hit things at range. Does it not... I don't even think it gives a damage increase, does it? No. This, this orbital thing doesn't even give a damage increase, which is kind of a bit rude. Unfortunately, this is going to be kind of rough. <laughs> also, Angry Spirit doesn't fire our beams either. This is all sorts of shit. Okay, that was very bad. I didn't, I didn't sort of prepare for him dashing towards me. Yeah, I'm very surprised this orbital thing doesn't give any sort of damage increase, considering how much harder it makes hitting enemies. Yeah, this is this is nightmare fuel. <laughs> this is horrible. <laughs> Thank God I have this thing. That was awful. Ooh, hello. It's been a while since we've seen you, Holy Grail. But now we have infinite ammo. Okay. Which is kind of annoying because we got the thing on Saturday giving us bonus max ammo. But <laughs> I suppose we don't want to be getting hit. Good old Holy Grail. It has been quite some time since I've seen you. One of the best goddamn items in the entire game. Curse of the Hive. Yeah, my it's annoying that my Angry Ghost doesn't follow suit with my uh with my shooting of um beams. He does seem to add to my radius of orbital shots though. Which is nice of him. Why are they all going to be jammed now? Or jammed shots, should I say? Okay. Try and use this thing when rooms are a bit tough. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely going to cause issues in the future, but I don't know. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. And we can also do this as well. Pair it up with uh, our ice beam to get some extra shots in. Now, if you could drop me some armor rather than HP, that would be fan dabby dozy. What would be really nice now is piercing. That guy is quite big. I would like to take him out. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm liking this combo. I'm liking this combo. But yes, I very much would like to see um, some armor drops, because I lost a bit too much on that first fight there, didn't I? Okay, those guys are easy peasy. Shop. Anything lovely. Devolver rounds is kind of nice. Obviously, I'd probably just prefer to buy the, um, the key right now. Yeah, this this is this is rough. <laughs> the range of the orbit orbiting is just not enough to be like super useful. Wait for that to do its thing. And we get ourselves whatever the hell this is. The variable. Is that what it was called? Variable? Deals double damage if the target you are shooting at is different to the last enemy you shot. Kind of interesting. Kind of interesting. I think I can get behind this. Right, let's keep going. I like the little blinking it's got going on. Oh my god, the range is just not enough. It's not even nearly enough. It needs to be way, like, the shots need to be way further away from me to make this even remotely usable. I have to be, like, right up next to an enemy to hit them. Dude, we're definitely going to die on this run. This is awful. I'm not dropping it because, no, I'm not dropping it. But, it could use some improvements.
Okay. Oh god, the slowing down creep all over the place doesn't help either. Honestly, freeze ray is just going to be my saving grace for a while because it doesn't get affected by it. I know I said I wish it did, but now I'm kind of like, I'm glad it doesn't. Look at that! Look how close I have to be to him to goddamn do damage. Also, this thing, this thing's damage is kind of terrible. I think you've got to play into its gimmick to make it worthwhile using. Eh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's just hard to actually hit things with is all. Okay. Next chest, please be something great. Should probably go buy a key before I visit it, to be honest. I do have care, so it could it could be fused. Die beast. Yeah, let's quickly uh Okay, it's not fused. Good. Quickly go back and grab a key. And hope for the best here. I don't know why the room's still dark. Roll bombs is, uh... Oh boy, it's good. Oh wait, the, the, the roll bombs are orbital, which is funny. Um, Sagala. Kind of interesting. Sagala. Okay. It just kind of shoots off in a random direction and blows up instantly. Gun muncher? Nah, I don't think we can use that. Right, boss time. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Right, this is going to be rough. <laughs> Especially on a boss like this. Slowing down. Yeah, this is going to take forever. I mean, I can't even get close enough with the poison that she uses. This is just... Ugh. Oh my god. It's got such low range, man. Also, the shots do not last long enough at all. They should do like at least two rotations around you. This is a far cry from being uh, from being anything other than terrible. I mean, to be fair, it's D tier, so what the fuck did I expect? But at the same time, like, please. For fuck's sake, man! I can't do this. This is awful. This is awful. <laughs> oh yes, secret rooms, thank you. Oh man, I need some way better weaponry to make this work. <laughs> yeah, like, the, the, the orbital shot should rotate around you for longer than they currently do, and the radius at which they're rotating around you should be at least a bit extended, or you should be dealing at least double damage. It should be at least a two times damage multiplier with what it's like right now. Because at the moment, it's just purely a massive inconvenience and nothing else. Like I said, luckily I have this freeze ray, but freeze ray's damage is pretty bad. It's meant to be utility, it's not meant to be killing things. Yeah. Oh, fucking die! My weapons are trash! <laughs> Honestly, I think I might be better off just using this. You can fire more shots with it. It seems better. Oh, that was kind of fun to just knock him in there. 
Bye. Knocking things into pits is also a good way of doing things. It's interesting to know that if you freeze those nitros, they don't explode. I didn't actually know that. That's something new to me. Right. I need some keys, please, game. This is an absolute struggle, most of our run right now. <laughs> oh, he can still shoot at me even when he's frozen. That's good to know. Yeah, freezing a fireball seems like a good way to uh, good way to kill it pretty quickly. Right, let's get to that shop and buy a key. And then there's jam stuff in the mix as well. It's like, come on now. <laughs> Give me a break. Jamango there as well. No, thank you. Oh, oh my god. I can't even hit him if I'm that close to him. I'm too close. Ready to go, good sir. A literal coal ball, I think, is uh, something that would die pretty fast to uh, a ray of freezing. Oh my god, I did not expect that at all. This is going to be a short episode, boys. Can you just die already, you prick? Thank you for the health drop there. Ooh, a full heal. <laughs> That's useful. Bubble wand. Each enemy has a chance of having their held gun replaced with a short range bubble blaster. That seems pretty good. It's, we're, we're one off of it as well. Um, I don't know. Though. There's, there's plenty of enemies that won't even affect though. So maybe I should just, just buy the armor and the key. Play it safe. Right. Come on now. This boss. Damn it. We need a red chest or higher, please. Oh, hello. The ice! No, the ice! <laughs> ice was tripping me up there. Hello! Did not expect you. Good sir, did not expect you at all. I don't have the money to get through there, sadly. The hell's this? Strange. I don't know what that means. Oh, bugger off you. Yeah, so at least I can dip you straight in a, the drink. Okay, the ice is, is is problematic. The actual ice on the floor. Okay, somehow living through this. <laughs> Come on, chest, please. Please be good to me. Oh, that hit me. Fuck. My god. 20 minute episode incoming, boys. Synergy chest, it could be good. Or it could be not a synergy. Oh, I mean, it's a good item at least. It's a beam weapon. It's another weapon we can actually utilize. And what do you want? 21? I don't have 21. I've got one off, you little fucker. I'm gonna have to do the boss first. Oh god, this is gonna this is gonna end poorly, isn't it?
Ah, it's it's aim assisting to the claymores. Fuck off. Stop aim assisting onto the claymores. They, they, they can't take damage, you fuck. This is doing so little damage. I, I thought this gun was good. We're gonna be here for a while. This is the furthest I've ever heard this song go, by the way. I've never heard the song go this far. Fuck off! Fuck off, Claymores! Oh my god. Maybe I have to reset the song. I've, I've literally gonna have used the entirety of this fucking weapon. And not even killed him. Fucking Claymores, man. So frustrating. Well, that was crazy. My god. <laughs> Just push him into the pits. What reward do you hold for me, good sirs? Shells of the Mountain. Increased challenge, increased reward. 15% damage increase, and 15% um, damage and in increased damage further the deep you are in the run. Increases the chance of room rewards by 75%. Enemies have a chance to spawn as elites. Bosses will be guaranteed elites. I don't know what that means. Space Slug. Increase the power of any gun you kill a boss with. Kind of interesting. Well then. This is a weird one. I don't know what elite means. I don't know what a boss being a guaranteed elite means either, but... I'm sure it's bad. <laughs> I'm sure it's bad. One second, I've just realized my phone's on very low charge. I'll just plug it in while we record this episode, because then it'll be done by the time we're finished. Unless we die this floor, which we probably will. Right. Great room to start here. Well, that's a great fucking room opener. Oh, Elites is just this this challenge these challenge enemies from when you're playing a Robros mode, I see. That's fair. These enemies th this weapon, I swore, was actually good. It's fucking garbage, man. I thought this weapon was good. It's it's honestly awful. Also, it said plus 15% damage, more damage the deeper you go. I didn't get any extra damage on this floor. It's kind of bullshit, man. Freeze everything and get to this dickhead. There you go. Man, everything has so much health now. We're gonna run out of ammo on this bad boy and then we're screwed.
Look at this. Look how much damage that's taking to kill these bitches. My god. Oh my god, we're back to this thing again. This has been a rough run, boys. This guy's teleporting around. Running out of ammo. Oh my god, and the game keeps dropping me HP that I can't do anything with. At least let me pick it up and sell it or something. I mean, we're not getting hit as much, which is nice. We do have Holy Grail if we do get hit as well, so if we need ammo. God damn, the damage on this thing is just abysmal. <laughs> I always thought this thing was actually a pretty good weapon. Almost out on it already. We've got like, maybe one more kill in it. Probably not. And then, then we're, we're really in the shit. Yeah, at that point, we're kind of stuck because we're basically back to our default pistol as our best weapon. We don't have any keys either, so yeah, even if we find our chest early, which we just did, doesn't mean nothing. Oh my god. Just die. Get out of here. The teleporting boys. There's just all sorts of different fellas here. There's so many elites. 15% damage was not worth the amount of elites we're getting. <laughs> not even nearly worth. Oh, fuck sake, go away. I mean, that gave me some ammo at least. Shop, where art thou? I need you so badly. That's the boss, not the shop. God damn it. I'll use this thing first. Save my other thing for the boss. Fucking... Oh, man. Every time you play a robot, you get absolutely dicked on by NPCs and shrines and stuff. It's like, here's everything that doesn't do anything for you. I'm pretty sure there, I, have, I have got a mod on that does make some of them do some stuff. Aragon. Aragon can be good. I think I might buy that. In fact, I will buy that. I know I've got like a melee swing attached to this when we fire it. It's doing good damage though. I think. I can't entirely tell. Also, this thing seems to have insanely good range. So the, the, the shots are actually rotating around a good bit. Which is rather nice. Some sort of minigun. Interesting. I have to move really slowly with this thing though, yep. This is not going to do it. I have to move way too slowly to use this thing. Oh my god, that was the most tragic, terrible fucking run I've ever laid my eyes on. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless. We, we reached 30 minutes though, hey ho. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.